What's good, homie squad? It's your boy, homie Ziggy. We back in here with another reaction for y'all, and we got Hala CG and another artist that uh, and another artist named Kara. Kara, Kara. Sorry if I said the name wrong. Bakugo raps. Bakugo. I sound like Schoolface John when I said that. Bakugo rap. Bakugo song. Sorry. One v one me. Now. And it's like this. Speaking of Schoolface John, when he said earlier about why why certain nerdcore artists like use the same anime rappers and such, but I mean, hey. So all I gotta say is this: with some of these anime, some some of these anime characters, they represent how we are most of the times in life. I mean, with Bakugo, tell me he don't represent a nigga who who's just about action. Like he a tough guy, he wants to beat somebody up. Tell me you don't find somebody he tell me you won't find somebody like that in real life. So hey, is it like this with Bakugo? He represents anybody who if you wanna fight me, nigga, we can run. That's how Bakugo will and sometimes I feel like that. So if anybody wanna run it up with me, bring it. But either way, we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Just better and better I get in the time it passes, goes My sweat, but don't sweat, it makes sense. When I try, I win. No trick, 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 trick. Basically, that's Bakugo's whole mentality. There ain't no second place. There ain't no, no. Congratulations, you tried. I appreciate that. Nah, nigga, with him, it's either you win or you lose. Is he there? Is either there's a winner or there's a loser? And Bakugo, he's all about. I'm the best. Fuck Ender. I'm always been number one. Who the it's like Game Boy Jones says, I'm always been number one. Who the fuck is in that? And that is like a weird thing you would ever hear. As normally with a hero, you would hear you would think like a hero would want to like save people and try to bring priest priest peace to our city and such. Now with Bakugo, even though this nigga is supposed to be a hero, and those who watch the anime, you cannot tell me this nigga don't look like he wants to conquer the city much less try to protect it you want to protect it but at the same time he don't want it being like a he don't want to feel like he a bitch and start having feelings that's basically how his whole whole vibe is and nine times out of ten I love it I got the fire and force it all about Mm. I got the fire in my force. I got the fire in force. I got the fire in force. Top Adola in my burst. Adola burst. Fire force. Mm. And I like when they. Oh, I like when a nerdcore artist do that. Like just because it's just one anime you're talking about. 
find ways how to make it tie into another one. Because I mean with Fire Force, it's all about fire, right? Bakugo was his one. Fire too. Well, in a way, fire. But when we're talking about fire, we could talk about that pow pow. When he's firing shots and such as his AP cannon. That's one of his little like one of his little gadgets or so where he just pow. So I kinda like where they do that too. And Game Boy Jones does it too. So I can see so there's few artists I like when they do that where they come try to put two two like animes where sorry where two animes or two characters that in a way have the same have the same like What have you been always saying when it comes to the when it comes to the female artists? What I've been always saying. Let me strengthen myself for saying this. You know what? Let me fix the camera. So you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. This is live. We rolling with it. Fuck it. We're doing it live. If you know what that from, let me know. But when it comes to certain when it comes like for, all right, plain and simple. Most male artists they try to want to do something, they try to want to put it on and such, right? But with the female artists, like Hala CG, Frivolous Shara, The Wolf, hell, even ones that are like underrated or overrated, whatever, right? At the end of the day, they just got that built-in sauce with them. Built-in swagger. Like, you cannot tell me that with most female artists, mainstream or nerdcore or whatever, right? You cannot tell me they don't just have built-in charisma with them. Like, with most male artists, they try to want to bring it in. They want to say they want to bring in something new and such. With the ladies, they like, something new? Bitch, I've had this in me. <laughs> This beat is like a nigga. You want, honest to God, this would if it's like this. I would treat with nerdcore songs, right? To me, I treat them like how, if anyhow, saying if I was like going into a, if I'm like in any situation in my life, right? Saying if I was a wrestler, or if any one of the, saying if anyone would want to have a wrestler name. And they want to choose Bakugo. And if especially if it's a lady wrestler. And if they don't choose Bakugo or any. But they choose a certain name. I'm telling you. This is going to be their song. Because with this type of. If you have this mentality of trying to say 1v1 me. Like bring it. This going to
thing is with Bakugo, not only his character, and this is like this, this is gonna be a total nerd in me and such, but I don't care, it is what it is with me. The thing is with Bakugo is not, not only he wants to be stronger, like, physically, right? Like, like, nigga, you see the muscle, you see the muscle, bring it, like that type of thing. But with his type of character development, that's always become, that's becoming stronger as well, because, let's face it. I've, and if y'all know me, y'all heard me say this before, and I'm going to bring it back again. At the start of the show, in season one, you can say up to like season four or five or so, right? Or at least four. This nigga was mostly about trying to be the top dog. He didn't care who, if if you consider his friend or not, or if he consider you like a friend or not. All he cared about was trying to out beat all of y'all. Out wash all of y'all. That was his mentality, right? But little by little throughout those series in the, in that se in the seasons and such and through each episode you see where he's trying to build more stronger bonds and such. I mean for goodness sakes, you know who's his most you know he hates Deku. But little by little, there are certain times where you see him like trying to wanna get along with Deku. I mean for goodness sakes. And look, this is a spoiler and all, a little spoiler, but I don't care. I mean, for goodness sakes, right? There was in one episode where they were fighting, right? And it was in like one of their train areas. This one, this video is going to be long, so you already know with me. I don't care. There was in a certain training, training like area at UA. And it was in the middle of the night. They battled it out. And let's face it, Bakugo right there just straight up saying, why you always want to follow me everywhere and so and so and thinking that, oh, he's trying to out trap me. But then, you know how Deku is saying about how he, case in point with Bakugo, you see how he wanted to at least try to want to get along or so. But then, as soon as when All Might came in, saw these two fighting, and now that Bakugo know that about how Deku got his power because Deku don't got no he before that Deku didn't got no shit. Case in point, now that he knew that now that he knows about Deku and All Might's power, Deku and All Might's secret and such, Bakugo could have been a dick and just go tell them all straight off. But he kept it under the low. And said as a good Focus. Up oh, camera, you better focus. There we go. But said that make sure to work on your quirk more and more so that way it will be much better for me to defeat you like a real villain. So you can say that he was still being him, but at least in a motivational, positive sort of way. But you see the character building up more and more so in a way getting more stronger and stronger yeah that was my little rant so I don't care what you say I don't care if the watch time and such messed it up it wouldn't be me if I don't explain a part of the show that I watch and I loved if it it wouldn't be me so Okay, so this was produced by Kira, sorry. And a lot of times I like where they always do that. Is it? Yeah, that's basically it. Like a lot of times when the artists do that, like always try to give 
like put in like the tag and such, put in like the producer's tag and such in there. So it's shout out to Hala and such, but I'm just saying, you could have not just, you can't just build it up like that and you just build it up to the end all the energetic way you want to punch a nigga now. But hey, all I'm saying is, like I said, if anyhow, you were gonna wanna be in a wrestling business and want a theme song, especially for the ladies, this is your song right here, one v one me. Cause trust me, y'all, if the ladies I know and such, or just in general, right, ladies, nine times out of ten, y'all, I feel like y'all fight way more violently than most men. I'm sorry, I. Can I be? Let me know if I'm wrong. But yeah, fire song. This was a fire song. No pun intended. <laughs> Shout out to Hala CG. Shout out to Kyra. Kira. Kyra. If I said the name wrong, sorry. Shout out to y'all. Y'all did y'all thing on this. Hope y'all like this. Let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. Roll to 1K, man. We're almost there. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all share. Subscribe. Ring the bell, man. I'm going to start saying that at the end of my damn stuff. Because 9 times out of 10, I don't be saying it. But y'all need but y'all need to start doing it, man. And also, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Y'all see my socials up there. Do them. Follow them. And y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. One beep. One beep. Or else that will happen to y'all if y'all don't do it. Y'all gonna have to 1v1 me. <laughs> but I'm kidding. Am I? Lego.